everybody, welcome to my YouTube, I'm Jen. Today I have a Cricut mystery box, the It's Fall Y'all mystery box. Um, if you are catching this and this video just went live, quickly run, don't walk, and purchase this kit. Um, it is, I don't know the price, I'll put the price right here. There's a link below, um, so you can purchase this for yourself. They do sell out pretty fast, they do have a cutie involved. Um, so quickly go check out and then come back and take a look and see what's inside and what we make with it. Okay. I'll wait. Go. Okay. Are you back? Okay. Awesome. Great job getting this Mr. Box. And now let's see what's inside. Um, so of course the Cricut Cutie will open that last. Um, we have a, this box is huge, it doesn't even fit under my video, so apologies for that. But there is a huge cutting ruler in here, very a pretty color, matches my Maker 3, or it's metallic, but same blue as my Maker 3. Um, so let's see, looks like it's got instructions on how to use it with a knife or a um, roll, uh, the, the cutter wheel thing. Um, and 18 inches, it says, let's see, okay. It's very sturdy. So it's got a non-slip surface and also a metal side, which is great for those cutting tools. So, and it is very pretty. I like that color. I will definitely be using that. Put that aside. Then we have Cricut Infusible Ink in very bright black and white, or not bright, very nice black and white colors. There are patterns, geometric shapes, um, and then French for the same. So just patterns and geometric shapes in black and white. Very nice. Um, if you're not familiar with how to use infusible ink, it's kind of like sublimation. You put it on a polyester shirt and um, iron it, press it, whatever. The heat actually activates the color and it will go into the fibers instead of laying on top like vinyl does. So it's really cool. If you haven't used it before, definitely try it. There is a shirt involved, it looks like. There's an extra large youth t-shirt included this time. It is gray. So things with white designs aren't gonna show up. So this is actually gonna show up as black and gray, which you can see a design of that here. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, if you had a white t-shirt, then it would be black and white. So um, that is important to note that it's actually black ink in there, but it would look amazing on a gray shirt. Let's see if we can find something to do with that. Um, we've got some strong bond Martha Stewart everyday iron-on which is in the color a lovebird so it is red looks kind of pink in my video you can see the pretty red on that and then we've also got a Martha Stewart um, premium gold this one is a premium vinyl, so it's not an iron-on, it is the removable. Then we have our beautiful purple sparkle um, in the polka dots. Is that the best way to do it? The polka dots pattern? <laughs> um, it's an eggplant color, and this one is also strong bond iron-on mesh. So I have a lot of the mesh, I just really don't use it. And um, one of these days, these boxes, they're supposed to challenge you, right? So I should definitely accept the challenge. 
Um, and then it's got Cricut cardstock in bulk, 12 by 12, 24 sheets. This is the fall sampler. Um, Cricut did just release a new cardstock, um, 8.5 by 11 cardstock that's super smooth. And I know the Cricut cardstock, the regular cardstock, is actually pretty good too, but it's not smooth. So there is a rough edge and a smooth edge. Um, so I don't know if you can see the fibers in there from the video and then this one is more smooth and not as smooth as the Cricut or the new uh, value vinyl value cardstock I just have no words today sorry guys um so these are fall colors so oranges greens purples ooh, black um so definitely great for Halloween and fall projects um instructions obviously on using it and Speed and pressure and all of that. And then we have the Cricut Cutie in the color Candy Apple. Um, so she is a red beauty. Not a new one. Um, this is a re-release. So there you have it. Let me know what you think in the comment box below. Let me know what you think I should make. Um, I will definitely be making something here shortly and um, just Stay tuned in the video and you'll see what it is. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Future Jen here. I decided to use the infusible ink and the gray t-shirt that was in this mystery box. Now to decide which pattern to use. I'm not sure yet what my design is going to be. Just that I want it to be kid friendly since it's a youth t-shirt. And something that would show up good with this pattern. I think that's my struggle here is what is going to look good with this pattern what is going what are you going to be able to tell what it is um so that is the challenge and i'm going to accept it so i'm going to pick this top one put it on my mat because the infusible ink does need to go on a mat if you don't know much about infusible ink you do want to do it design side up but you'll want to mirror your design um, in design space and Cricut will prompt you to do that. So we're going to pick something I'm thinking a silhouette would probably be the easiest to see Not sure that words would work very well. I think I'm going to do this cute little dinosaur right here That is adorable And then I'm going to size it so that it'll be the right size for the t-shirt just playing it by ear, but I know that the t-shirt can do about an 8 inch design on this one. So now I'm going to cut it for you. It was actually very fast. I know this is sped up, but it was actually very fast because it's just an outline um, to cut this. And then we're going to weed it. I'm going to cut out some space to try to save some, maybe add something else later on. I don't know, but I'm cutting out some of the negative space just so I don't weed it away first. And then this um, is kind of like cardstock. Um, so it's more sturdy than vinyl. Um, but super easy to peel away. There is Cricut help if you're not sure how to use infusible ink, so definitely take a look at the Cricut help if you need it. And then we're going to use my Cricut Easy Press, and this one is the Easy Press 2, and it has the um, heat app. So the heat app is really cool because it walks you through everything you need to know um, based on the infusible ink and the t shirt that you are using. Make sure you follow the directions because you want to use a lint roller first and also heat up the shirt before you press it. Um, I also have a piece of card stock in between just to maybe eliminate any bleed through if there is any. There wasn't in this time, but you never know. So better safe than sorry to have a piece of card stock in the middle. Now that it's ready, I'm going to preheat the t-shirt. Preheating helps get rid of any moisture um, and also just makes it nice and smooth for us. 
does tell you exactly what to do in the heat guide. And it does say firm pressure, so I'm just going to push down a little bit. And now you're going to put your cute little design on and make sure that it's designed tight side down with the shiny carrier sheet on top. The carrier sheet is fine for heat. Use the parchment paper that came with it, a clean one, so make sure this is clean. Um, and press it for 40 seconds. This is sped up just a little bit for you. It is very nice that the parchment paper is included and there's three. So for every piece of um, infusible ink transfer sheet, you also have a parchment paper. Very nice touch Cricut. And let's see how we did. You're gonna have to tell me, um, can you tell that it's a dinosaur? Is there anything you would have done differently? Um, do you use the pattern? Uh, <laughs> let me know in the comment box below and thank you so much for watching.